Okay, guys, we're going to do a very, very hard demonstration. This is, one of the, this is a very hard demonstration to do on a black screen versus another black screen. It is to do a white snow scene. So we're going to do a white snow scene. We're going to have, we have two black screens here. We have the nano black technology screen, and then we have a very high professional certified professional screen paint that we got off Amazon. Uh, we got the screens next to each other, and to show you how far my projector is sitting back, we are sitting 14 feet from the screen. We are going to be using, as usual, our Casio projector at 2500 lumens. This is a power light. I'm sorry, power light. My bad. This is a uh, lamp-free projector. It is a DLP and it is a hybrid. It is laser and LED combined. Now, as I said, 14 feet back, plenty of light in the environment. As you can see, the environment is not dark. Now, let me show you something. See the projector on the floor? That is a short throw. Let me show you some, tell you something about short throws. If you pull a short throw back, the screen is going to expand. It's going to overlap the screen. How you know if somebody has a projector sitting too close to the screen while using a short throw? If that uh, person is using a short throw and that screen fits perfectly within that little box, right? That shows you that the projector is sitting too close. That is what a short throw, you pull a short throw farther back, you, you, don't, you don't gotta pull back much. Mine sits seven feet and I get 150 inch screen. But if you don't gotta pull them back much to get them to overlap the surface, but the more, if I push that all the way up to the screen, the image is gonna become smaller. So that's how you know the projector is sitting way too close to the screen. So that's what you call the smoke and mirrors trick. You have it in a dark environment, number one. Number two, if you're using a short throw, the short throw is sitting too close to the screen. And then on top of that, it doesn't make a difference if you turn lights on in the background, the projector is literally sitting them on top of the screen. On top of that, using a high-end projector, using a 4200, um, 4200, 4, I'm sorry, 4200, 4200 lumen projector and up at 11 uh, feet away from the screen in a dark environment. It's not a very um, fair and well done demonstration. So I'm showing you here, we're going to do this at 14 feet back, 2500 lumens, fully lit environment. And we're going to do this on a snow scene. This is a black screen versus a black screen. Now I seen people do demonstrations of a black screen versus a gray screen, black screen versus a white screen. I've done these myself. This shows off the screen's contrast level. But in this demonstration, we're doing it differently. Black screen against black screen on a white snow scene. All right, so let's begin to start the demonstration right now. So I'm going to zoom right up on the screen so you can see the difference between the two. This is the nano black technology screen. Look at the whites compared to the white wall. And this right here is the high professional screen paint. As I said before, many times over and over again, these black screen paints have something called oversaturation of contrast levels, which means the screen is so oversaturated with such high levels of, of, uh, of, one, of, of an unbalanced uh, color that pretty much anything next to it turns dark. And that's what I was trying to explain to you. Now, if I pull my screen out of the equation, if I remove it, it's going to look pretty good to you. Now, if I never showed my screen to begin with, if I never had this in the equation, and you just saw that screen, you would think the screen looks really, really good until I put my screen next to it. And that is the difference between our technology and these uh, so-called screen paints out there on the market that claim to be able to produce uh, white levels when they actually can't. And that's one of the tricks, excuse me, that they'll do is uh, put a projector literally sitting right up on top of the screen. If they never show the back of the projector or where it's sitting, that tells you right there that the projector is too close to the screen. Also, to another major red flag, if you're using a short throw, and the short throw is literally fitting in that small size of that sample sheet that they're displaying with a short throw, yes, that projector is definitely sitting too close to the screen. My projector is down here at 17, 14 feet. Look at that. That's the difference between our technology and their technology. It's dark. Okay, so go back here. I'm going to grab me another video off the phone. I'm using my phone to do demonstrations off. Okay, let's come out of here real quick.
No. Look at this. See the difference between our technology and the screen paint. Huge difference. Huge, huge difference. to the phone. Grab me another demonstration really quick. Wait till you see this. Now which one of these sides look better to you? I think the Nano Black looks amazing compared to the screen paint. That's it. And this is not the form of, um, what's the word for it, a do-it-yourself house screen paint. This is a certified screen paint. And look at the white levels when it comes to the white flower. Look at that. So this is a personal challenge to anyone who has a black screen out there. If you care to do the exact same demonstration that we're doing, no short throws sitting up close to the screen, no 4200 and up project, lumen projectors, 14 feet or more, even 13 feet, 13 to 14 feet or more. And this is black screen versus black screen. With the advancement in our technology, this is what I'm talking about. This is what you get from a nano black. This is what makes our different, our screens different from everybody else. This is what separates us from the pack. Look at the colors. Look at the detail in that rose compared to the white wall. Perfect balance. This is what our screens can do, a perfect balance. That is just incredible. And this is a black screen, mind you. Let's do one more. There's another video I want to do. It has some very, very beautiful flowers on it. Let's go back. Game, it looks better on our screen. Look at this. That's a little bonus in there, eh? Got a chance to see what gaming looks like on the Nano Black compared to black screen paint. black 
black levels, perfect black levels, perfect. Look at how beautiful the colors are on our screen compared to that rose. Look at this. next level technology. And that's the one thing about when we do our tests. I mean, we do our tests, extreme tests. We have no short throws sitting up on the screen. I prefer to do my all my demonstrations when I start off with long throw projectors. When they can pass that 14, 15, 20 feet fully lit environment, extreme light and um, condition uh, tests that we put them through against high end, high performance screens, then we can use them on the short throws because that's easy. I consider a short throw demonstration very, very easy to do. And I've had this screen of actually the Platinum against a DMP Supernova. And I blew that out of the water uh, just by using our short throw. And I've done it on long throw. I've done it on short throw. Now see how the colors here pop better than the black. Look at this. There's a difference in our technology when it comes to any form of black screen. We could back that up 100%. This is why the Nano Black is the best black screen on the market. See, oversaturated, very dirty. It's a very dirty and dark screen. Now you look at the white wall. Look at this black screen. Look at the white levels that it's producing. Now look at this right here. Look how dark that is to the wall. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this very detailed demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching. The Nano Black is available on our uh, Fusion Silver Crystal Vision website for pre-order only. As I said, the screen will be available for four months and then after that we will be taking it off the market. I hope you guys enjoyed this video demonstration as much as I did. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Now you can truly see when I say we do our demonstrations properly, we do them properly. Thank you all for watching.